Alright, what I'm going to be doing is putting in a banana circle. I'll give you guys a clue. Here is the aquaponics. And here is our wonderful soil. It is terrible. Filled with rocks. I mean, nothing grows. Nothing grows. So, we're going to see what we can do about it to fix that. Alright, as you can see, my buddy Beanie over there is doing his job, helping out. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I am uh, just, I got physical issues. My back, I, I, uh, I just, I could not do this. There's no way I could physically do this. However, luckily, we have people here that help out. So we're, uh, what I'm doing is I'm kind of taking a mixture of multiple permaculture techniques. First is the banana circle. Now to do this, what we're doing is we're charging, I have been charging coal. Now, the coal I've been charging in my filter here for weeks and weeks and weeks because I knew I was going to do this. Now, what we're doing is he's digging a little trench for where the plants are going to go. We're going to take the biochar, fill that, take some wood, fill that, and then when I dig the hole for all the soil is going to be put to bury all of that. So that when the roots come in, they'll be digging into those things underground. So that's our, this is our first step. Just digging a little trench so we can then put some, uh, you know, use some hugo culture technique. Dig a, we're going to take some wood and some biochar to fill that. And then we're going to dig the center hole and move the soil on top of that bed. So, one step at a time is our first step. Alright, now we've got our circle in place. What I'm doing is filling it with, you know, what some would call biochar, coal. If you want coal here in Jamaica, you're not going to go buy briquettes. You're going to buy a bag that looks like this. And it's filled with this stuff. So, we're going to pack this. Then we're going to take the newspaper and cover it. And I've got some wood branches, some branches from a tree. We're going to fill the whole thing with the trees. Then we're going to cover it all up. This is our root. Uh, now, I have had most of this biochar in water from the aquaponics filter system that allows it to fill with nutrients, which makes it far more efficient, more, uh, you know, it, it uh, what do they call it? They charge it. That's how they charge it. Most of it's been like that. Hoping it will work. It, uh, there's a lot of nutrients in that aquaponic system, and this is a good way to capture them and put them to use. So, next step, I'll be back. Now we are on to our next step, as you see, under, we got newspaper, under that is the biochar, now we're putting the leaves, the branches from a tree we cut down, this is a nitrogen fixing weed tree, it grows like insane here, the, you can cut these things a thousand times, they always grow back and they take over. Um, they are considered a weed tree here, but they're perfect for what we need them for, which is just this. They fix nitrogen in the soil, and they're very good at this, uh, for this sort of thing. And as soon as this is done, we will then dig a big hole in the center of the circle, and all the soil will be piled on top, burying all of this. So when it's all done, you won't even know this stuff is here. But we have to do it, start it this way. So. There's an example of our next step. I will be back when we're ready to move on. Now this is a, a prime example of just how bad the soil is here. This, this development was built, and for some reason this part of the development 
must have been, I was told they had, uh, 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 showcase house over here. But they had all the concrete trucks, the mixing trucks, and all that. And if you look, the place is covered with rock. And it's not like this place was built last year. This is a reasonably old development for the area. And we're digging into rock-filled sand that nothing grows in. And I am trying to see if I can grow this stuff without any chemical fertilizers using strictly the water from the aquaponics system the filter when I change this when I flush the filter that water is coming over here I'm adding organic material and that's it if I can if possible uh, don't know if it'll work we've got uh, this mango tree right here now that is effectively growing pretty good but it took a lot to get it to grow. If you see, I'll give you an example. That's a pretty good size. That's a pretty good size mango. But the tree's been here for a few years, and its root system is now deep enough where it does it actually it works now. But it took him a long time to get that tree to work. We'll see if we can make this soil good enough. It is the worst soil I've ever seen, and I'm not kidding or exaggerating when I say it's the worst I've ever seen. So, if this works, I will be a permaculture convert forever, because I'm seriously going to try and make this work without any um, chemical fertilizers. This is going to be all natural soil building exercise using compostable materials and... Uh, and fish waste. And we'll be back. Hopefully, I may not finish this today. There's a good chance it's already after, well, it's after 3.30. And uh, uh, we may keep at it because we're going to be in the shade soon and the temperature will cool off and make it a lot easier if we can get things done in the next uh, two hours or so. And we'll let you know the progress. Well, we're back. I wanted to show you this. What we have is, we've broken, I want to say, six, eight, maybe even a, eight to ten inches. And so far it's been all stone. Just what they call marl here. It's this limestone. And there's tons of it. But, we fill this hole with water chisel away at it and it looks like we're finally breaking through the layer of stone and hitting the soil. I don't know if this is showing up very well but that's what we're hoping to get through. We want to get to something that will actually grow and uh, we're going to probably stop here pretty soon. It's pushing five o'clock and uh, we've got about an hour or so before uh, lights out. My wife will be home in about an hour. So the goal is to, at that point, I'll probably fill this hole with water and just literally soak, the, fill the whole thing. So tomorrow, American the water will have been soft. soaking into it all night and hopefully it'll be softer and we can finish up. But for now, just to show you how bad this soil is, because I've never seen soil like this. It's really unbelievable. Alright, we are done for the night. Uh, as you can see, the sun is now down below the tree line. What we're doing, we have filled this hole with water. The goal is, overnight the water will soak in, soak in, hopefully loosen up the mess that's underneath that. And put a layer of peat moss and cocoa peat over this and now we're just kind of making a kind of a cheat swale here to force keep the water when we get rain we want all the water that comes from that part of the yard 
to flow into this hole. So uh, this is just a mini, uh, you know, mini swale, I'll call it. But the goal is to funnel as much water into this hole as possible. And that's where we are for the night. We're going to be back tomorrow where we are going to put in some bananas. Give you guys a quick example. We've got this banana here. That's really a surprisingly big one. And we've got these little guys here. We've got a total of six. I also have two papayas or pawpaws that we're going to put in. And uh, so then we're going to take the tomatoes out of there. We've got a pineapple that's going to go in too. I've got a whole bunch of cowpea and uh, miscellaneous legumes that are going to be planted in there as well. And uh, we're going to try and build some soil here. So until tomorrow, where we'll hopefully have this all finished off tomorrow, and we'll go from there. We'll be back. See you around tomorrow. God bless. All right, next morning. Well, not it's well, it's 11:30 in the morning. As you can see, we've got a water or a hole still full of water. It's been sitting here all night. Uh, we did this about six o'clock last night, and uh, looks like we made a little pond more than anything. So we're gonna we're gonna make some adjustments here. I'm gonna get the water out of this hole. We're gonna see if we can break through the 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 seal and uh, go on to the next step. So for now, just want to give an update before we get started. I tried to give this as much time as possible and uh, this is what we've got. We've got a hole that doesn't drain any water and if that's the case then none of the nutrients will drain and none of the uh, the, the soil building process cannot work if we can't get any soil, if we can't get the nutrients out of the hole that we're filling. So uh, we're going to get some water out of this hole and bust through the, the part of this that's sealed. <clears throat> and see my, my daughter over here is a little shy, she's a, not real familiar with my friend that's helping out so she keeps her distance it's actually kind of good because otherwise she'd be in here playing in this pile of, in this uh, pool of water so next step is coming soon all right I'll give you a next update when we're done here all right we've finally broken through all the stone and we've got very hard clay which is fine now we're going to fill the hole with organic matter. Right now we've got a bunch of coconuts, uh, for coconuts, uh, empty coconuts. Uh, there's a guy that comes by here and we get fresh coconut water from him every week. And we're going to fill this hole with the coconuts, uh, organic material. Everything we have is going to go in this hole. The idea is, as this stuff breaks down and decomposes, it's going to feed all the nutrients into the soil, and all the plants around here on the circle will feed off of that material. So that's our next step, and as you can, I don't know if you can tell, but we've had some rain. Um, we had bright, blaring sunshine earlier. It's still pretty sunny out, but we got a light mist coming down. It may go away, it may not, but it's not bad enough to destroy, to, to stop us from working. And if I don't get these bananas planted today, we're going to have some problems. I really don't like leaving them out of the ground. They need to be planted. So we're going to finish up in the rain and hopefully we'll be back when we're all done. Thanks guys. Alright, we're done. We've got, let me take a look. Water fills into the hole. I've got uh, what do I have? one, two, three, four, five bananas. Over here we got a papaya, uh, pineapple here. Planted the whole thing out with cowpea and uh, put some sunflowers, miscellaneous things to try and get growth. 
we will uh, update as things go, but for now, it is done. We have, uh, I've got some other things I might plant in here just to fill some space. I've got some cantaloupe seeds. I'd like to plant some cantaloupe, see how they grow. Um, but for now, we're just filling the hole with water, let everything decompose, and give things time to settle in and root in. I'm hoping that in the next few weeks, uh, everything here will take root and survive. I've uh, been having a hard time finding papaya plants. This one was gifted to me by a friend. One of my neighbors here gave us that. So, so we're signing off. All done now, and hopefully this will grow well, and we will let everyone know what happens next. Everybody have a good day. God bless. Be safe.